Hey everyone, welcome back to another After Effects tutorial, today, we are going to create this. Let's get started. As usual, first create a composition. 1920 by 1080, and it's called the main comp. In this video we are using 32-bit per channel, because 32-bit per channel has more precise color information. Now create one more composition, it's called BG particle. Then create a solid layer and search CC Particle Systems Effect. Change birth rate around 0.1. Longevity around 6 second, then go to Producer, and change Radius X and Y1. Now go to Physics, and change Velocity 0.1. Gravity 0. Direction also 0. Now go to Particle, and change Particle Type Line to, Tri Polygon. Birth Size around 0 0.10. Death Size 0 0.50. And change Opacity Map Fade In Fade Out. And also change transfer mode composite to add, then change the color, which you like. Perfect. Now add fill effect, and change your color. Then add fast blur and change the blurriness around 2. Then add CC Radial Fast Blur. Change Zoom to Brightness. And Amount around 90. Then add one more effect, Find Edges. And check Invert, and change Blend the original around 50%. Perfect. Now create a new solid layer. Select Ellipse Tool, and create a small circle like this. Then select Particle Layer, and choose Loom Inverted Mat. Open Mask Property, and change Mask Feather around 100 pixels. Perfect! Our BG Particle has completed. Now go to the main comp, and create a new comp for our audio and drag your audio into audio comp. Now create one more composition. It's called, polyparticle. Drag audio comp into the timer line. Then create a new solid layer. And apply CC particle systems to effects. Change birth rate 0.6. Longevity around 6 seconds. Then open Producer, and change Radius X and Y1. Now open Physics, and change Velocity 0.1. Gravity 0. Now open Particle, and change the Particle Type, Tri Polygon. Then change Death Size 0.50. And change both birth color and death color white. And transfer mode add. Now search fast blur, and change blurriness around 2. Then apply find edges effects. And check invert, and blend with original 30%. Then add tint effect. And choose your color. 
Now create a new solid layer. Select ellipse tool, then create circle like this. Now add audio spectrum effects. Change audio layer with our audio comp. And path mask 1. Because mask 1 is our inner mask. Change start frequency around 30, end frequency around 1000. Frequency band around 150. Maximum height 960. Audio duration around 200. Softness 0. Change inside and outside color white. Uncheck dynamic hue phase, because we don't need this, display options analog line, and side B, because need only outer side. Now add CC radial fast blur. Change zoom to brightness, and amount 90. Select particle layer, and change luma mat. So it's look like this. Select audio spectrum layer. Hit F for feather, and change mask feather 100 pixels. Now go to the main comp. And drag BG particle into the timer line. Then drag poly particle comp into the timer line. Select both layers, and change mode normal to add. Select polyparticle layer and duplicate it. And search exposure effects. Change exposure amount 3. Copy this exposure effects, and paste on second polyparticle layer. And change exposure amount 2. Now go to project window. And duplicate polyparticle comp, and rename it as dust particle. Open Dust Particle Comp. Select Particle Layer and delete these three effects. Now open Particle, and change Particle Type, Motion Polygon. Birth Size, 0. Opacity Map Oscillate, this gives little variation to opacity, then apply Fill Effects and change color with your color. Then add fast blur. Blurriness around 1. I think we need little more longevity, so change longevity 6 to 9 second. Now select the first layer and delete all effects. Open solid layer, and select first mask and change mode add to subtract and move mask 1 below the mask 2 here you can see our inner circle subtract now apply fill effect and change fill color white perfect now go to main comp and drag dust particle into timeline and change mode normal to add. Now search exposure effects. And change exposure amount too. Here you can see the particles. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now go to the project window. And create a new composition, it's called spectrum. And drag audio comp into timeline. Then create a new solid layer, and search audio spectrum. Now select ellipse tool, and create a circle like this. Go to effect control panel, select audio layer, our audio comp. Path mask 1. End frequency around 1000. Frequency band 100. 
Maximum height around 1500. Audio duration around 200. Softness 0%. Uncheck dynamic hue phase. Here you can see our audio frequency cut on top side, so change mask 1 add to none, now it's fully visible. Now apply exposure effect. And change exposure value minus 2. And change blending mode to add. Now duplicate the layer. And change display options digital to analog lines and side B. Then duplicate this layer one more time. And change side options A. So here you can see the effect. Now go to main comp, and drag spectrum comp into the timer line. And change blending mode add. Select Spectrum layer and apply Exposure Effects. And change Exposure Value 0 0.50. Then search Glow Effects. Change Glow Threshold around 40%. Glow Radius 15. Glow Intensity 0.1. Now duplicate Spectrum layer. And delete the Glow Effects and search fast blur effects and change blurriness around 10 now create a new adjustment layer and search glow effects glow threshold 100 percent glow radius 0 and glow intensity 0.1 here you can see the difference now duplicate the glow effects Increase Glow Radius 300 and Glow Threshold 70%. Now search Exposure Effects and change Exposure minus 1. So it gives little detailing to Spectrum. Now go to Project Window and drag Leden's Flare Background into Timeline. Resize it if required. You can choose any other lens flare background image. Then apply tint effect, and change normal to screen. And change the white map color with your color. Now apply curve effects and adjust your curve according to your choice. Now we need to create a process bar, so create a composition. Then select the rectangle tool, and create a rectangle like this. Move anchor point center of the rectangle and fill color none and make stroke color with your color. Now create one more rectangle like this. This time stroke color none and fill color with your color. Move the anchor point left side of the rectangle because we want our rectangle comes with this side. Now create a new null layer. Then search slider control effect. We have 30 seconds song. We need change slider amount 30. If you have more than 30 seconds song, you can change it anytime. Now select fill layer and open transform, and hold alt and hit on scale stopwatch. Then select the null layer, then unlink the scale amount. Now move pick whip and attached with slider control. 
Now we have an expression, copy this expression and paste in scale value. You can download this expression from description. If you rename this null layer, make sure you must also change its name. Now you can see the effect. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now go to the main comp, and drag process bar into the timer line. Then search glow effect. Change glow threshold 30%. Glow radius 30. Glow intensity 0.1. Here you can see our process bar. Our animation has done. Hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.